Hello, my name is Hugo. Today let's talk about very handy tools that I always have no matter what kind of shoot I'm doing. Multi-tool. We always have something to screw or unscrew, usually it's a camera plate, and if we don't have a screwdriver, we usually use the coin, which works perfectly as well. But if we need a Phillips head or any other kind of wrenches, coin won't help. Multi-tools usually have sets of screwdrivers or wrenches. Red makes those, Small Rig makes those, and probably many other brands I don't even know about. I personally use the Small Rig one. It costs about $20 and it serves me very well. Definitely recommend to have this one in your bag. Small quick release. I like quick releases in general simply because they save lots of time on set. And these are very small and compact quick releases that can be used to mount your accessories like in my case I have three on my Canon C200 and every time when I need to take down my handle or relocate my screen I had to screw the bolts and the way they are located on the handle it took me about five minutes. With quick releases it's a matter of seconds. And you can use those to mount your monitor, recorder, light, whatever you have to screw and unscrew frequently. It's it's been very handy for me as well, and I really like it. Bongo ties and velcro. Many times you have to do a nice cable management or just to mount some accessories. Like recently, at a shoot, I didn't have a proper holder for my light tubes, and I used bongo ties to mount them to a C-stand. I just dropped them around and they worked perfectly well. Simply, there are countless ways how you can use those. Bongo is about $7 and velcro is about $10. Rubber twist tie. That's something that I found in a Home Depot, and it's probably not designed to be a filmmaking tool, but works perfectly well. This thing has been so handy at many of my shoots as well. To get the idea how it can be used, I had a shoot where I had a shotgun microphone and I didn't have a proper mic holder, and I used this rubber twist to make a holder for it. Or I had a broken stand and I need to connect my boom pole with the stand, I used this tie. Compared to bongo tie and rubber tie, it's a lot stronger and holds the form you made. It costs about $10 for a couple. Very cool thing. C-stand on the wheels. I didn't buy this one for a long time, simply because it's pretty expensive relatively to the other stands on the market. It's $150, before I always bought cheaper stands, simply because I didn't think this investment is worth it. On every shoot where you have a grip truck, you usually have lots of C-stands, and it didn't make much sense to bring my own. And for my personal projects, even cheap stands would work well, since I didn't have big lights. Once I bought a sky panel, which is pretty heavy, I had to buy a decent stand that will hold the weight. That's how I discovered C-stand on the wheels. Since the moment I got it, I can't think about having any other stand. Starting from the essential purpose of uh, serving this as a stand, it feels a lot more stable and allows you to load a lot more weight. Like for instance, beside a light you can put a boom microphone on it instead of having a person holding it, if it's an interview for example. But besides the obvious purpose, since it's on the wheels, it can serve as a dolly cart. Many times I have to work as one man crew, which means I have to pack all the equipment by myself camera, light, grips, sound, and etc. And in this case, I live in an apartment building and I need to bring all the equipment to my car. All these cases and camera bags are killing my bag. Sometimes I even have to go two times to bring down all the gear. With this stand, I just put all my stuff on it and I just roll it. And because it's so strong, I can load so much gear that I couldn't take in one walk without it. Reflector, five in one. I can't even count how many times it was a shoot saver. If from listed above I had to choose only one, it would definitely be the reflector. There are different kinds. This particular one is 5-in-1. 5-in-1 uh, means that you got a diffusion, silver reflector, gold reflector, white reflector and black negative fill. And the most used is of course the diffusion, that helps me to soften the light. No matter how big shoes I had, there were situations where this simple reflector could save tons of time. Because of the weight and because it's relatively flexible, you can mount it in a wider range of places with less time. Most cases you go behind your shooting schedule and time is valuable. On shoots we had grip trucks with tons of frames, lights, uh, frames like 4x4, 6x6 and etc. But we used my reflector simply because assembling wouldn't take a lot of time and we could simply hold it and angle it the way we need it. I like soft light. With this cheap but super useful tool, you can make pretty much any light softer. It's about $35 and I always have it in my trunk. I hope it was a useful list of tools that I have. You can find all these useful items in the description below. Hit like if you like this video, click on subscribe button if you want to watch more videos like this, 
Thank you for your time. Bye.